Hi, I'm the Army Navy Air Force, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top 5 anti-ship missiles. An anti-ship missile is a guided missile that is designed to destroy ships. Anti-ship missiles can be launched from a variety of platforms, including ships, submarines, aircraft, and land-based launchers. They are a key part of any Navy's arsenal, and they can be used to attack enemy ships both in coastal and open waters. BrahMos. In 1998, a joint venture was established between the Indian Defence Ministry's Defence Research and Development Organisation and Russia's Mashinostroyenia Company. The two entities formed a company now known as BrahMos Aerospace, which would develop and manufacture the BrahMos PJ-10. The BrahMos is a supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft, or land platforms. It has a range of up to 300 kilometers and can travel at speeds of up to Mach 2.8. The BrahMos carries either a 200 or 300 kilograms high explosive semi-armor piercing warhead or a 250 kilograms submunitions warhead. The BrahMos is a highly accurate missile capable of penetrating enemy defenses. Compared to state-of-the-art subsonic missiles, BrahMos has three times more velocity. 2.5 to 3 times more flight range. 3 to 4 times more seeker range. 9 times more kinetic energy. In addition to the supersonic version of the BrahMos, India and Russia are also collaborating on a hypersonic version of the missile. Reports suggest that the BrahMos AI will be powered by a scramjet engine rather than the ramjet version. Russian defense officials have also claimed that the missile will reach the Mach 5 threshold required to be classified as hypersonic by using a special new fuel. According to an official statement from the Indian Air Force on December 2022, it was successfully test-fired by Su-30 MKI aircraft the extended-range version of BrahMos supersonic cruise missile against a ship target in the Bay of Bengal. The range of the missile is around 450 kilometers. YJ-18 missile. The YJ-18 is a subsonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarines, ships, or aircraft. It has a range of up to 400 kilometers and can travel at speeds of up to Mach 0.9. The YJ-18 is a highly maneuverable missile capable of evading enemy defenses. The YJ-18, Ingi, Eagle Strike, Dash-18, is a Chinese cruise missile with variants for anti-ship and land attack missions. It is reportedly derived from the Russian 3M, 54E, Club, missile and entered service around 2014. The YJ-18 features a multi-stage propulsion system, using an air-breathing engine to cruise at Mach 0.8 and a solid rocket booster to travel at Mach 2.5 to 3.0 in a terminal dash to its target point 11. The YJ-18 has an estimated range of 220 to 540 km while carrying a 150 to 300 kg payload. China has developed several YJ-18 variants, primarily differentiated by their respective launch platforms. YJ-18 the first production model. It was designed to launch from submarine torpedo tubes for anti-ship missions. YJ-18A. A model designed to fit shipboard vertical launch systems, VLS. YJ-18B. A submarine-launched variant designed for land attack missions. YJ-18C. A March 2019 report said that China was developing the YJ-18C a land attack variant designed to deploy in commercial shipping containers. Coastal Defense Variant Images suggest China also deploys a truck-based YJ-18 variant for coastal defense. P-800 Onyx Missile The P-800 Onyx is a supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from surface ships or submarines. It has a range of up to 300 km and can travel at speeds of up to Mach 2.5. The P-800 Onyx is a highly accurate missile capable of penetrating enemy defenses. The SSN-26 Strobel P-800 Onyx Yakont Yakont M are Russian anti-ship cruise missiles developed by NPO Mashinostroyenia. There are three known variants of the missile. 
The ship launched variant is known as the P-800 Onyx and has been designated the SS-N-26 Strobel by NATO.1 The export variant of the ground-launched version is known as the Yakont. An air-launched variant was developed in 1999 and is known as the Yakont M. A sub-launched version has been proposed and is suspected to be fitted to Yasin class attack submarines. This Onyx Yakont Yakont M has a range of 300 km in its default trajectory and a range of 120 km in a low altitude trajectory. Additional technical specifications of the missile Warhead type and weight 3000 kg launch weight. He warhead, armor piercing warhead. Yield 200 kg he warhead and 250 kg armor piercing warhead. Guidance system accuracy 1.5 MCEP. Satellite guidance, active radar seeker. Cruise altitude, max 14,000 M. Propellant, solid fuel booster and liquid fuel ramjet sustainer. The P-800 Onyx is primarily an anti-ship missile but has been seeing more use against ground forces in Russia's ongoing fight against Syrian rebels. Harpoon Missile The Harpoon is an American anti-ship missile that can be launched from surface ships, submarines, or aircraft. It has a range of up to 120 km and can travel at speeds of up to Mach 0.8. The Harpoon is a highly accurate missile capable of penetrating enemy defenses. Since its introduction in 1977, the Harpoon has received multiple upgrades to its hardware and software, resulting in many variants. On ships, the Harpoon is normally launched from Arctopole launchers. The Harpoon first saw combat in 1980 in the Iran-Iraq War. Since then, it has also been used in the U.S.-Libya conflicts of 1986, 1988 U.S. operations in the Persian Gulf, and several accidental shootings. Currently, about 30 nations used the Harpoon, including Australia, South Korea, Canada, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Egypt, the United States, Taiwan, Germany, Turkey, Israel, India, Japan, and the United Kingdom. Exocet Missile The Exocet is a French anti-ship missile that can be launched from surface ships, submarines, or aircraft. It has a range of up to 180 km and can travel at speeds of up to Mach 0.9. The Exocet is a highly accurate missile capable of penetrating enemy defenses. Missile Variants Exocet Millimeter 38 The original Exocet missile, the ship launched Millimeter 38, was developed in 1967 and entered into service in 1975. Exocet Millimeter 40 The Millimeter 40 missile is an upgraded version of the Millimeter 38 that began development in 1976. Exocet SM-39 the SM-39 is the sub-launched variant of the Exocet missile family and has a range of 50 km. Exocet AM-39 Production on the AM-39, the air-launched variant in the Exocet family, began in 1974 and the missile entered service in 1979. Exocet Millimeter 40 Block 3 The Millimeter 40 Block 3 missile, complete with a microturbo TI-40 turbojet engine, began development 2004 and was first tested from a ship in 2010. According to the XIS Missile Defense Project webpage, due to France's international sales, the Exocet is one of most proliferated missiles ever. In addition to France, 38 countries possess Exocet's variants. These include Argentina, Bahrain, Brazil, Brunei, Bulgaria, Cameroon, Chile, Colombia, Cyprus, Ecuador, Egypt, France, Germany, Greece, India, Indonesia, Iraq, Ivory Coast, South Korea, Kuwait, Malaysia, Morocco, Nigeria, Oman, Pakistan, Peru, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Africa, Thailand, Tunisia, Turkey, UAE, UK, Uruguay, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Of the 3,300 Exocet missiles that have been produced, 
including 1,260mm 38, 800mm 40, 1,100am 39, and 140SM 39, with 400mm 40 Block 3 missiles in order to be produced. Over 700 have been fired in combat. An example is on May 17, 1987, an Iraqi Mirage fighter jet fired two Exocet missiles at the American frigate Stark. Both missiles hit the frigate, but only one exploded. However, the frigate was badly damaged. American experts noted that if it were in the stormy Atlantic and not in the calm in the Persian Gulf, the frigate would have inevitably sunk. Summary So, those are the top five anti-ship missiles. Each missile has its own strengths and weaknesses, so the best missile for you will depend on your specific needs. If you're looking for a long-range, high-speed missile, then the BrahMos or the P-800 Onyx are good options. If you're looking for a more maneuverable missile that is capable of evading enemy defenses, then the YJ-18 or the Exocet are good options. And if you're looking for a missile that is both accurate and affordable, then the Harpoon is a good option. There are many other anti-ship missiles that could have been included in this video. Some of the most notable emissions include Wrasm, long-range anti-ship missile XASM-3, advanced anti-ship missile Naval strike missile KH-35, Urim Gabriel C-802 I hope this video has been helpful. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos about the military. Thanks for watching.